To the Mr. Men and Little Misses, there is no greater thrill than coming face to face with an animal in the wild. We salute the brave people of Dillydale who seek out a closer look at the Earth's most fascinating beasts <laughs> and celebrate those who take time to enjoy and protect these magnificent creatures. Dillydale magazine is expecting photographs of birds, <laughs> birds and more birds. And so far, all we have is a picture of your rear end. I would have moved out of the way if you'd told me you were taking a picture. We need to be taking pictures of birds. Where could they be? Maybe if you didn't make so much noise. That's it. My patience has run out. It's time to deploy my secret weapon. And that would be... My finicky flamingo panpipe. <gasps> Do you really think that... Wow! Hold that pose. It's a great shot. Say cheese. <laughs> no. One more. You weren't smiling. Hmm. I also promised the magazine a picture of the Great Cape Buffalo. Really? Uh, I mean, they're awfully big. Are you sure the magazine wouldn't be just as happy with a picture of a gerbil? No way! <clears throat> if it's a buffalo they want, it's a buffalo they will get with my other secret weapon. Oh, no. My two-tone bamboo buffalo bagpipes. <laughs> oh, oh, well. <laughs> Too bad. Doesn't work. <laughs> Another great shot. Say cheese. I can't. I was talking to the buffalo. And now they get a picture of the red, great white alligator. Alligator? You didn't tell me we were looking for an alligator. Not just any alligator. The great white alligator. It looks like I'll have to rely on my secret, secret weapon. Oh, no. An all aluminium alligator whistle. Uh, Mr. Noisy? Mr. Noisy? Mr. Noisy! Oh. Well, Bump, I don't think we're going to be seeing any alligators today. Mr. Bump? Mr. Nervous, and today we're going to talk about things in your attic that you should really fear. <laughs> These fuzzy slippers made from genuine pink sheep will make wearing slippers twice as much fun as it already is. Oh, those are adorable. I really must have them. Dilly Dale Home Shopping. This is Mr. Scatterbrain. How may I give you excellent service today? This is Miss Calamity. I'd like to order the pink fuzzy slippers I see on the TV right now. Oh, absolutely. Now, do they have the non-slip rubber soles? What's that? The slippers. What slippers? The ones on the television. Well, why do you need to buy slippers if there's a pair on your television set? No, I'd like to buy the pair being advertised on your show right now. Oh! <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Thank you for using Dillydale Home Shopping. Delivery from Dillydale Home Shopping. That's an awfully big box for fuzzy slippers. Mm. Yes, that's why we use it for monkeys. Oh, dear. I didn't order a pair of monkeys. Well, I'm not taking them back. You should see what they did to my truck. Goodbye. 
Dilly Dale Home Shopping. This is Mr. Scatterbrain. How may I give you excellent service today? Well, there seems to be a mistake. I ordered pink slippers and you sent monkeys. That's funny. The zoo just called to say they got a pair of fuzzy slippers. I wonder what happened. We'll have a new pair of slippers sent right out to you. Thank you for using Dilly Dale Home Shopping. Here's the angry lizard you ordered. Oh dear, I don't like lizards. Neither do I. Oh, leave my monkeys alone. Tigers? I didn't order those. This is getting tedious. What a calamity! This is Mr. Scatterbrain! Now there are tigers chasing my lizard who's chasing my monkeys and no one's getting along and all I wanted was a pair of pink fuzzy slippers. Oh my! Well, I will take care of this personally. <laughs> all right, everyone, back in the box! And here are the slippers you ordered. They're lovely. Along with these pygmy fruit bats. No! There is definitely a sandwich thief in this forest. At first I thought maybe I forgot to pack a sandwich, but then I remembered making the egg salad. I don't like the smell of boiled eggs, do you? Anyway, when we woke up, we realised someone had stolen our food. Not just anyone, Miss Chatterbox. Those are bear prints. Bear? Oh, oh, bears are very bad. Oh, don't you worry, Mr Bounce. We'll set up a trap and cart that big old bear away. Set up a trap? Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, Mr Lazy, we are park rangers. This is part of our job, like emptying rubbish bins. Are we supposed to do that too? This is a pretty manky bear costume. Don't you worry. You'll be very attractive to other bears. Now, you can't attract just any bear. We need to attract a sandwich-loving bear. That's why I baited the trees. Can I have one of those? After we catch the bear. Now, when you see him, you call me on your walkie-talkie. This job keeps getting harder and harder. <laughs> Let's get out of here before we become the sandwich. Oh, it's helpful. It's Miss Chatterbox. You're never going to guess what we saw back in our campsite. Besides trees, because there are lots of trees everywhere. Oh, I bet you could guess that. But I bet you wouldn't bet that the bear's back. Huh? <laughs> Come in, Mr Lazy. Mr Lazy. Oh, I'll bet he's asleep again. Oh, there he is. Mr. Lazy, wake up and get in the van. The real bear has been spotted and we have to get him. All right, here's the plan. When we find the bear, we'll put him to sleep for a little while. Relocate him deep into the woods where he won't bother anyone else. Got it? Good. There's the bear. <laughs> That'll put him to sleep. Do you mind giving me a hand with the bear? Mr. Lazy, one of us should probably stay to make sure the bear's okay. That's the spirit. Maybe I've been wrong about you, Mr. Lazy. <sighs> a great nap. <laughs> Again, a problem's been solved by my quick thinking. Oh, this job's exhausting. Mr. Messy, you might want to put those bin lids on properly. I've heard reports of a skunk in the area. Ah, there's nothing like the stink of skunk. I find it repulsive. So please do make certain your rubbish is secure. I knew it. That sound can only mean skunks have found their way into Mr. Messy's rubbish. Shoo, you repulsive animal! Shoo! Hi there, Mr. P. What are you doing out here? It's three o'clock in the morning. I just remembered. I accidentally threw away a chicken wing. 
We'll clean up this mess before an army of skunks comes to make our lives miserable. Come on, Mr. P. Skunks can be our friends. No doubt in your world, but not in mine. I have a very sensitive nose. <gasps> Mr. Mess is such a grimy, gritty, grubby little man. <gasps> Why did I throw away a perfectly good pizza crust? So while it's true that wildlife occasionally makes an unexpected appearance in Dillydale, most of the time these wonderful animals are where they should be, in the wild.